Student Senate elections were held this past Monday to fill eight spots on the executive board. But what really happens in this election process? Camille Sanders helps break down the process. It's an organization on campus that acts as a liaison between the student body and the administration. I sat down with Camille Sanders, Chief of Staff and Interim Speaker of the Assembly, to learn about the election process and where her passion for Student Senate started. So recently, we just passed a resolution on um, the university fine system. So we're like creating a working group to look into university fines, whether it's um, library fines, residential living fines, like parking fines. Um, we've had a lot of complaints about that in the past, so we're trying to make something happen about that. There are three different types of elections used. First are general elections with sophomores, juniors, seniors, and the at-large position that occurs at the end of the spring semester. Then the second part is the Speaker of the Assembly elections. Camille explains when that will take place. Um, and you can keep an eye out too for the Speaker of the Assembly elections that will be coming up later this fall. Um, an application will be sent out again uh, via the Student Activities Office email to all of campus. Student Senate is a great way to get involved around campus and to have your voice be heard. Camille shares why she decided to stick with this organization. Kind of as things progressed in the organization, we realized that um, we both like had a real um, like passion for it, like really liked being able to implement change on campus, even though it's not like super immediate, like you don't see it the next week, you see it like maybe in a couple months or sometimes even a year, but you're able to help out like your fellow students. Um, and I think that's really rewarding. So. For more information about Student Senate, keep a lookout for emails from the Student Activities Office or the Bradley University website. For BUTV News, I'm Elise Holskoff.